Okay, I'm still at the site, Alashahoyuk, and I'm sort of going into the middle of the megalithic block areas. And I'm seeing some interesting features. For example, these circular holes that are cut inside. Um, see right there. Which is very interesting. Okay. So also, further down here a bit, there is a very uh, interesting stone with several large holes inside of it. And other ones it looks like too. So let me pan down for you a bit, sort of show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, quite intriguing. This was a ritual for water or holding something or libations to the deities or who knows what it was, but it is a definite very large megalithic structure and these holes they go at angles the two large ones and let me show you the about the size um, so let me pan down again and here is my hand and here is one of the holes okay And again. Okay, and over there is a, another really large megalithic block, which is the earlier site before the Hittites. These lovely, well-fitted uh, megalithic blocks. You can see there are some people over there standing next, and that gives you a good size comparison. So we'll walk over here and see these holes are in several, sometimes random places in the megalithic rocks. And here is a couple more. And just the rocks themselves, you can tell where there's a line angle on the one over there right in front of you. But we do not know, we just know that these are like all megalithic cultures, true ones. Their age is unknown. We only assign them a name, um, but I call them the lost civilization of the megalithic builders because we don't know. The builders of these were old in the Hittite times, so. You see the smaller stonework is the uh, later cultures. The technology was lost for these big stone ones. And the technology of these megalithic builders were very well because you can still see that their stones are in place where these other stones are just sort of rubble and fall away at, you know, barely a wind blowing. And these are extremely weathered, so as to the age again, I'd say pre-Hattian, which are pre-Hittites. Just like all around the world, these uh, lost megalithic builders have disappeared, except for the traces with their giant rock stones that they've left behind for us to just wonder and gaze at in awe. 
I was going to say that, yes. Where is the cafe? Has button. Yeah. And right in front there is the, uh, all the way down there is the double sphinx gate at the top, which I did a video on earlier. But just again, look at the size compared to the uh, people standing next to them. And that is, there are much larger blocks than the one you're looking at right now as well. Oh, nice. <laughs> I, you know, this feels like the heart of the whole complex right here. Yeah. The oldest part. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This place is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> just wish we could... These are like the lost traces of these megalithic builders that we can only guess. Yeah. They're probably even older than the Hattians. Oh, I think so. I <laughs> yeah. think so. Absolutely. Oh, that's very common. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, you know, you have one on either side of the block. But I mean, how would you... Yes, and the whole place is littered with these early cultures, what they left behind. Going through the tunnel entrance earlier was very nice. And I'm just gonna come down here and sort of show you that this would have been an angular cut, but time has worn it because they are so old. Interesting blocks with the large holes. And in another video down uh, below, I showed that uh, alignment of large megaliths with smaller holes dotting in a pattern three on each side of one stone roughly the same uh, distance apart and very very per perfect circular stones so I just walk over here to show you a bit more of the megalithic structures these are quite large ones too I am very impressed and I've been to many places around the world Okay, so I'm just going to walk a bit back down this way, show you these other blocks I was just talking about with the holes, but let me pan down here for you really quick. And you see these are the earlier, not the earlier, excuse me, the later culture, probably the Hittite that built these sort of rubble looking uh, little groupings of stones. Okay. All right. And here are some of the megalithic stones, the nice ones. The ones that I hunt for. <laughs> the ones that are worth traveling all around the world to find. Okay.
going on with my color. Sorry if it sort of was bright there. It got dark and bright here. Okay. Let's get a peek at these. And these are the ones I was telling you with the holes. And I'm going to have to do my gimbal, point it down to show you. Be patient, please. These are the holes I was saying about before. And three on each side of the stones. I know it's hard to see. Okay. So it's very interesting. These uh, lost megalith builder cultures. Um, they were into astronomy. They knew how to read the stars and they believed that the soul, that is where this um, soul went after death was to the stars. Our friends to uh... right. 